I declare this congregation open. I call upon the public order, Dr. Peter Kunish, to read citation on the honorary graduates. The Chief Justice has been a determined champion of the rule of law and the independence of the judiciary. Equally effective in his judicial role at the apex of our legal system, in his often less well-recognized post as the administrative head of the entire judiciary, and in his more public role as the most easily recognizable advocate of the underlying principles of our legal system and the protections afforded to each of us by the basic law. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Congratulations. During nearly two decades as a permanent judge in the Court of Final Appeal, Mr. Ribeiro has been involved in numerous appeal cases of a constitutional nature. These cases, often involving the interpretation of the basic law, have resulted in some of the most important judgments in Hong Kong's recent jurisprudential history. His intellect and energy have often been praised, and even though he has now reached the age of 70, he continues to be one of the hardest working and most intellectually able judges in our judiciary. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Dr. Sin's enormous success as a businessman has been the result of hard work and determination. Dr. Sin has said, I believe the humanities can enrich and illuminate our lives. Literature, music, history, philosophy, law, politics, social sciences, architecture and the arts are all important. He believes that Hong Kong U embodies many of the values of the people and the society of Hong Kong, and he has supported those values in a very concrete way. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Social Sciences, Honoris Causa. Professor Andrew Michael Spence was awarded the 2001 Nobel Prize in Economics for his contributions to the analysis of markets with asymmetric information. His groundbreaking theory of market signaling arose from his doctoral research at Harvard University between 1968 and 1972. His job market signaling model has inspired an enormous volume of literature in the field of contract theory and his analysis of markets with asymmetric information has led to numerous applications in the field of microeconomics. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Social Sciences, Honoris Causa. May I invite Honorable Chief Justice Jeffrey Ma to address the congregation on behalf of the honorary graduates. For me, I regard the award of this degree as very much one which belongs to the Hong Kong judiciary, which I represent. The importance of an independent judiciary to Hong Kong cannot be overstated. To start with, the basic law the constitutional document that governs the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region states in three different articles that Hong Kong shall have independent judicial power. The judicial oath required to be taken by all judges provides that judges must administer justice without fear or favor, self-interest or deceit. The difficulty for the courts can sometimes lie in how to resolve legitimate but conflicting considerations. 
Depending on the facts of any given case, some considerations will prevail over others, and sometimes a balancing exercise is required to be undertaken. This approach is to recognize the validity and legitimacy of all reasonable points of view which a judge may have to take into account in the determination of a legal dispute. Once again, Justice Ribeiro, Dr. Sin, Professor Spence, and I thank the University of Hong Kong for these honors. I declare this congregation closed.